So here I want to show how the vignetting function works. Uh, here's a file I just loaded. What I'm going to do very quickly is to uh, essentially just balance it and um, maybe give it some, some contrast and some, some color um, just to make it look a little more moody like, like that. So you can see that very quickly we can make changes here, um, maybe a little warmer. Um, and then what I want to do is I want to go into the uh, vignetting functions. And you can see that it comes up with a uh, default vignette um, that we can move around. Uh, what we can do is we can click this button and we can show the shape as, as we move it around. Now it moves around more fluidly here. It's getting caught by the uh, uh, video capture. And then what we can do too is that we can change the radius of the vignette. Like if I just wanted to get that door for example. I can also change the shape of the vignette uh, around whatever I like. So if that's what I wanted to do, if I wanted to highlight this door, for example, I can change the radius and, and the softness. I can make it, um, um, as I change the shape and the radius, I can um, you know, make it uh, like a vignette around the barn, um, however I want to do that. Probably better off doing it in the center when it, with vignettes like this. But the idea is, is that we can change the shape so that if I wanted to make it a little more elongated to fit the shape of the barn, I can just totally fit the shape and then change the, the softness. And if I ever lose track of what's going on, I can just hit this show raw shape button. It'll show me where the vignette is, is at. Um, and then I can change the, the transparency. Um, another thing that I can do too is that a lot of times like if you add a vignette it starts to have contrast problems it just doesn't look doesn't blend like here it's obvious that I've added a vignette and sometimes that's the um, the effect that we want that it's kind of obvious and it's moody and and that's exactly what we're looking for other times we want to add a vignette and we don't want to make it too obvious and so what we can do is we can use these contrast controls to blend the contrast with the uh, image, we can just change the softness a little bit and um, change the transparency and move the contrast in to where what we have now is a picture that de has a definite vignette to it, but it's really not that obvious anymore that there's a vignette going on, which can add more focus to the image. So that's one aspect of the vignetting, and I'll show you another in just a second. Here's another picture that could use uh, a vignette. It also turns out to be a good example of the auto color. As you can see with just one click we've changed it quite a bit. But now we can go back into the vignette function and um, do the same sort of vignette. But what happens here is, is that in this particular case, I mean the focus seems like it would be the it, lighthouse. I mean if we were going to do a vignette, the only focus really for this type of vignette would be the, the lighthouse, as otherwise it wouldn't make any sense. But then we start to lose all this information over here. Even if we add contrast like we did before, it looks pretty nice, but we're still darkening this area, I think, too much. I think this whole area in here uh, looks pretty good and we would want to put a focus on that. And I've noticed this about a lot of pictures. There's a whole lot of pictures where you're really looking at the horizon. And so what we can do is we can, let's look at the shape again and then make it square and then move the shape completely out, just completely extend it. And then what we can do is uh, change the radius and to, to whatever makes sense and then change the, the softness and the transparency to whatever makes sense and then what happens is that we start to see focus coming onto the the center area and again we can do it in a way where um, it's obvious it's a vignette or add some contrast to it where it's it's subtly putting focus on the center area without um, being obvious that it's a vignette I, I think both examples are work pretty well but as you can see, it's uh, really putting more focus on, on the center strip here. So that's, that's another, another form of using the vignette um, to help change your picture.